Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use a TI-84 calculator to solve implicit equations. Um, and that would involve using the intersect function on the calculator. All right, um, so right here I have an equation in implicit uh, form. Okay, basically x is mixed up all over throughout the equation and on both sides of the equation. All right, so I'm going to come over here to my graphing calculator and I'm going to go to y equals. And this is where I am going to input the various things into the calculator that I need. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left-hand side of my equation and I'm going to insert that into y sub 1. So that I'm going to put that in for my first equation. So I'm going to do 3 parentheses x plus 4, close that set of parentheses. All right, then I'm going to arrow down. All right, now I'm going to take the right-hand side of that equation and I'm going to enter that into y sub 2. So I will have a negative 2 parentheses x minus 1. Okay, now I am ready to go graph it and look at it from a graphing standpoint. All right, so it's going to graph my first 3 times quantity x plus 4, and it's now graphing the second line of negative 2 parentheses x minus 1. Because uh, you can both tell that both of those are linear equations. Okay. Now, the solution to this equation will be the x-coordinate of their intersection point. So I need to actually find their intersection point. Um, so I'm going to use the intersect feature. All right, I'm going to hit second calc and that is going to pull up a menu. And if I go down and look, number 5 is intersect, so I can either arrow down and select it, or I can hit 5. All right, now the calculator will go through a series of questions. It's going to ask you for the first curve. Now, when you automatically do this, it it is on the first curve, but in this particular example, all right, I don't see a flashing cursor anywhere, so I'm going to arrow to the left. Oh, there it is. See, there now you see the cursor. It was just really, really up high. It was not in the screen. All right. But when you do do this, the calculator knows which one you put in first. It comes up on the first uh, curve that you graphed. I'm going to hit enter. All right. Then the calculator asks for the second curve. All right. Well, it automatically jumps over to the second curve. If you can see just right there, it's flashing. Again, I could arrow and move it over. Okay, so yeah, see, it is clearly on that second equation. All right, then I'm going to press Enter. All right, then it's going to ask me for a guess, so I'm going to arrow that moving, blinking cursor over to about where I think the intersection point is, and I'm going to hit Enter. All right, now, when I do that, it gives me the intersection point right there in the bottom. X equals negative 2, Y equals 6, all right? That's the coordinates of that point. All right, I am only concerned with the X coordinate. The X coordinate is the solution to the equation. If I were to solve this equation by hand, I would come up with X equals negative 2 as an answer. Okay, so let's come over here and let's put X equals negative 2. All right, so solving that equation using the graphing calculator, I get X equals negative 2. Same answer I would get if I solved that by hand. 